Well, I had been doing G.I. Joe for a while, and uh, my agent called and said they have a new character they're going to work into the show. Would you like to go read for it? Sure. And I go to Wally's, and it's this sailor character and called Shipwreck, and I do three or four takes, and there are various people in addition to Wally, and I can tell nobody is particularly thrilled with what I've done to that point, but I don't know what else to do, so I'm about to say thank you very much and goodbye, and there's a guy sitting over in the corner, and he says, hey, uh, did you see the movie The Last Detail? Bing. I fortunately had seen the movie. It's a Jack Nicholson movie that's kind of been forgotten because he was nominated for an Academy Award for his performance, but right after that he went and he did Chinatown and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and forget about it. Uh, but uh, people kind of forgot about, uh, about the last detail. But it, it involves a sailor named Billy Badass Badusky he and another sailor get assigned the job of taking this poor sad sack recruit uh, to, uh, to military prison, to the, to the brig, uh, played by Randy Quaid. And uh, Nicholson's performance is astonishing. As this, and, and I was in the Navy. I knew guys like this. They're career guys, but they skate right on the line of insubordination, and somehow they get away with it, but uh, they're not strictly on the up and up. And there was this one scene in a bar that I never forgot, and when he said, have you seen the last detail? I said, that's what they want. They want badass Badusky. And I had this voice that I had done. It was sort of my all-purpose stoner voice. And it was a guy who, you know, had a few joints, and he's really loaded, dude. And, uh, well, he didn't say dude in those days. And every now and then I would do it, and people would go, you know, it sounds a little like Jack Nicholson. So I thought, all right, we'll take his joint away, and we'll fill him full of coffee, and all of a sudden I started to read the lines in this voice with a little bit of intensity, and suddenly everybody's, you know... And I thought, well, I, I think I struck a nerve. And I finished the take. Wally said, cut. And the guy in the corner said, you got it, which is usually the kiss of death when they tell you you got it. You ain't got it. But I went away, and about three days later, the phone rang, and my agent said, well, you got the sailor job, sweetie. And that, was, that led to me playing one of the more remembered characters of, of my career.